like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 50 says for the function g of x equals log base 2 of x, which of the following must be true? And then they give you three statements um, about the function. So let's, let's, uh, let's do a quick little sketch here of what log x looks like just so that you can visualize the answers um, a little bit easier. So basically what we have is an inverted exponential function. Logarithms are just inverses of exponential functions. And so if you think about what an exponential growth function looks like, it basically does something like this. Okay, it never actually crosses over the x-axis, um, and it continually goes upwards. Okay, so the log function, which is the inverse of this, is going to look something like this, where instead of the asymptote being along the x-axis, it's along the y-axis, and it kind of does something like this. Basically, it's a reflection over the line y equals x. So just to um, kind of clean this up a little bit, I'm going to delete that exponential function. Um, and for this particular function, if I input uh, 1, 2 to the 0th power is 1. So this point right here is going to be 1 comma 0. And then we're going to have another point out here, which is going to be like if I plug in 2 for x, 2 to the first power is 2. So this would be 2 comma 1. Okay, and we've got this vertical asymptote along the y-axis along x equals 0. So the domain looks like it's true. Remember the x, uh, the domain is referring to the x-coordinates, um, but there's one little thing that's actually wrong about this first statement. All right, we do have only positive values for x here defined, but what we don't have is 0. And this little bracket here indicates that we want to include that number in the set. But as you can see from this graph, we've got this vertical asymptote here, and zero is not going to be a valid input into this function. If you think about what the function actually means, it actually it should make sense why zero would not be allowed to be uh, an input. If I were to write something like, uh, you know, what's log base two of zero, and ask you, hey, what's that equal? Well, what you're trying to answer when you're when, when you're trying to evaluate this logarithm is you're trying to say, well, 2 to what power is 0? And the simple fact is that there's no number that you can plug in there, okay? There's no, uh, no real number that you can say 2 to that power equals 0, unfortunately. So there's just, like, no answer. <laughs> it just literally is there's no answer there. It's undefined, if you will. So... That, that means that zero cannot be in the domain, and even though, you know, like to fix this statement, you would want this to be a parenthesis to say that everything above zero would be in the domain, but not including zero, so one is not going to be a true statement. Two is saying that the range is negative infinity to infinity, and that actually is true. You, obviously, it's going down to negative infinity. You can see that this is going to basically ride the asymptote all the way to negative infinity. It's not as obvious, I think, that the, um, that the upper end of the range is positive infinity, but in fact, this does continue to go up forever. It really slows down, um, and so it takes a while to get there. I mean, obviously, it never gets to infinity, but uh, it, it does not move as quickly as, um, as, as the downward trajectory here. So, but it does continue to go up forever. So, uh, yeah, two, the this, this second statement is true says g of x increases with increasing value of x, we can see that that's clearly true, just based on the shape of this graph. As x goes to the right, as x increases, you can see that the value of this function is always increasing. So because statement 2 and statement 3 are correct, we are going to say that our answer here is choice D. And that's it for number 50. You really just need to make sure that you're familiar with what the graph of the logarithmic function looks like, and then you can answer these, uh, this question pretty easily. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and you'll have a great day.